Yo everybody, Robinson D.U.P. This is Road to, to Pro Debut, episode 15. If you haven't noticed, I've changed all the vlog names to that, so I uh, hope you like the new title. Anyway, wait in this morning. Uh, this was my taper week. None of my macros changed, as you saw, uh, according to the last vlog, the last episode. And I dropped a pound this week, so I'm down to 202. The only thing was, once again, I kind of got some crappy sleep. I can tell I'm retaining a little bit of water because of it. Um, my dog was obviously having some stomach issues last night. I don't know why, but she seems to go through this every now and again. And uh, decides to wake my wife and I up at 1.30 and then wake us up, up, wake us up again at 3. So, I wonder if she's not feeling well. She, like, sits on top of you and shakes. So... <laughs> You, you don't get a lot of sleep because all you can feel is this vi vibration next to you. You know, I feel bad for her, but, you know, it's, ru it's ruining my sleeping pattern. Hopefully, she, we gave her some medicine. Hopefully, she'll feel better. Anyway, so, yeah, that's my new weight, 202. Uh, not much else going on. I'm actually headed to the gym right now to meet with John and um, see what my new nutrition is going to be because he's heading out of town on a business trip. So um, I guess we're just going to discuss what my training is going to be, uh, my new training plan since I'm ending this taper today, and uh, where my macros are going to go from here on out. I mean, still got a while. I'm not competing until August, so uh, I don't think there's any reason. Ooh, these potholes um, make any really, really severe cuts, but we'll see what he wants to do. And uh, we'll go from there. I think I'm also going to try a max deadlift today. As uh, some of you saw on my Facebook page, I've yet to post this, but um, I didn't really deadlift very heavy for two months because of my knee issue. Um, I went for like a nine or a nine and a half effort or so, and um, I pulled 495 very cleanly, which I was happy about. Um, and that, or a couple, two days after that, I did Brian Nielsen's I Love Deadlifts Challenge, where I pulled 405 for eight reps, you know, but with no chalk or straps or anything, and I'm still curious to see what I could, now, now you see what you did to me, Brian, I got the itch to see <laughs> if I had chalk, how many times I could pull 405 for, um, that's really about it, oh, on a side note, um, my coach is now a sponsored athlete with myoatmeal.com, um, and usually I don't, uh, endorse any product, unless I've personally tried it and like it. Um, he gave me a bunch of sample baggies, and I think he's going to put that video up on his channel in the very near future. Um, and if you haven't watched my coach's channel, I, I suggest that you start. Um, he is starting to put up a lot more content consistently. Uh, like I said, next week he'll probably be not doing much of anything, but you know he's, he's put up some great uh, hip mobility drills and stuff to help you get deeper in your squats and just for overall health. He's, uh, he's going to be putting up a video soon that he did. My wife has, uh, has been having an issue with some mobility in her back and uh, hips. So he ran her through some foam rolling and stuff. You're going to see that video as well. But anyway, back to the point. Uh, MyOatmeal.com. He, he dropped me off a bunch of samples. And uh, yesterday, since it was my low-carb day, he was nice enough to wait, like measure these things out and write the macros on like a plastic baggie. So I had the... Um, what was it? Snickerdoodle um, sample that he gave me. And I added two scoops of my own peanut butter. And um, I expected it to be good. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. Uh, it tasted phenomenal. It's going to make my prep so much easier because now I have a lot of flavors I can play with and um, custom blends that I can make. So if you're, um, if you're an oatmeal eater or if you just want something different, because um, you can get the steel cut oats and whatnot, uh, and just get different flavors uh, with like a lot less sugar in it, I would suggest checking them out. They're great. I'm actually going to be, I just placed them over myself. Uh, got chocolate hazelnut, and I also did um, oatmeal cookie, but I added raisins and I, th I think peanut butter lean too. I forget what I did, but it was definitely oatmeal cookie. And they're also sending me a mystery flavor. I got like four over four pounds of oats uh, with shipping, I think, for like 40 bucks or something like that. It's like some ridiculous deal. So the pricing is really good too. So feel free to check them out. Uh, I think my coach has a discount code. Uh, if he's if I'm allowed to, I will put it in the uh, description box below. All right, guys, I'm literally pulling into the parking lot right now, and uh, talk to you later. What's going on, everybody? I'm back. It's still the same uh, 
vlog. So I did a max test today. I was able to pull um, a 520 pound deadlift. Not bad, I would say, considering I'm in a caloric deficit and uh, that beats my 515, so new max. Not bad, caloric deficit, I'll take it. And I'm gonna attach it to the end of this video, so if you watch this far, you'll see it. Um, in terms of nutrition, Coach did not give me uh, any update as to what the new macros are gonna be. They are gonna change, I just don't know um, by how much at this point. Uh, he said he's not gonna make any major changes because I, I did drop another pound and we still got a long way to go. Um, we discussed some of my new training plans. Uh, it looks like I'm pretty much gonna be squatting every day, but a couple of those days are just for mobility purposes where I'm going maybe like 50% for like three sets of three, just to help you know my knees and my hips stay warmed up um, and uh, see where that goes in terms of my leg development and whatnot. And I also have a confession to make. I did use pre-workout today. Oh my God! Yeah, I um, was just really tired. Like I mentioned earlier, my dog was uh, kept me up all night. Um, but I didn't even do the two scoops. So I only did a scoop and a half. I just needed a little pick-me-up. Nothing too crazy to bring me over the top. I just needed to wake up, especially for the deadlifts. Um, I think that's the first time I've used pre-workout in about... God probably about three months, four months, something like that. I told you, I use it very, very sparingly, only in cases like this, where um, I'm that tired. So that's really about it. Today was a good day. Enjoy the deadlift. Um, and I'll give you an update later about uh, my new macros. I may just include them in the description box. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Greg Robinson going for how much? 520. 520. In a caloric deficit. While prepping, all this in a limp biscuit. He is a limp biscuit. <laughs> there it is. Now Greg just pulled 495. It's pretty awesome. He came out very, very strong. And he was using a double overhand grip. Now you're noticing he's going to brace first before he comes down. Watch it. He's lining his feet up first. There he goes. There's the brace. Pull! 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 Come on! Woo! How'd that feel? Feels like I'm in a beauty pageant. I can't lift no weight because I bodybuild. I'm getting all the I know. Greg Robinson attempting four or uh, five thirty. He's in contest prep, caloric deficit. Just finished a taper week. Fifteen pounds lighter. Yep. So we'll see if he can do it. No pressure. Come on, come on, come on. 